Hello everyone, I'm Lily. And I'm Hex. And we are back with Sekiro. We have re-infiltrated Ashina Castle. There's like um the ministry or the central force, whatever. They've invaded Ashina Castle. Uh, rendered all of our sculptures idols useless, so we've had to come and reopen those. And we are almost at the top of Kuro's Tower again, almost. I think. Almost. Uh, let's see, where are we going to get? Uh, this is probably, actually. Do the shinobi eyes. Uh, oh, no, you, 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 you did use your skill points. Yeah, that's, no, what you... that's fine. Like, I wanted this one as well, because we need, like, a little bit more of the um, spirit emblems. Okay. We'll probably get, like, more skill points as we go through here. Alright. And there aren't as many... Oh, yeah, there's an ogre around. <laughs> you knocked down a candle and that dude was like, what was that? But not fast enough, so you still... Bead him. Do you have to fight this ogre again? Uh, I think he drops a bead. We don't need that. We got enough health. Oh! Shit! <laughs> well, at least you got one of the things. Which is good. We just like to keep ogres chained up. Did he get you? Oof. Yeah, he did. Good job. That grab is easier to avoid than that one. And yet you did it twice in a row. Good job. Come on, do your drop kicks, which I find hilarious. Ooh, big damage. Oh boy. Ooh, big damage. <laughs> <laughs> he, he likes to grab. He's very grabby. Yeah, I was just gonna say, you might wanna get out of there again. The flame works too. Gulp, gulp. <laughs> yeah, now I'm out of spirit ammo, so this doesn't do as much damage. Uh, this is fine. This uh, is not fine. No, you're okay. Well, okay, okay is a relative term. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Ooh, right in the eyes. There we go. Good job. Oh, and oh. yeah, we got owned enough. <laughs> That's awesome. You've been gravely injured time and time again. You suck. <laughs> well, that was helpful then. That was worth it. Yeah. Easier. Like, or I think similar to the original Chained Ogre fight. We need more salt. Uh, yeah, this is actually a reason. Like, why you eat drop. So you can learn about the salt? Yeah, uh, so the vendor, like the, that thief that became like a vendor, uh -huh. he wants information on what the Ashna people need. Oh. So, and then you find out, oh, they need salt. So then he's gonna sell them salt? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the Chained Ogre, I think pretty much similar to the original Chained Ogre. And here then we have the real boss fight. The real final boss fight right here. For you at least. Good job! <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice deflect. There is an item over that way if you care. Stop. Right. Right. Through here. Oh yeah, but on this it's bridge. Like on the bridge. Uh... Oh, that ceramic shard was worth it. Okay, you go fight them. <laughs> Bye. Oh, there's a guy with a big sword over there. Is there anything in this water? 
No, this leads to, uh... Is this where you came up from? Yeah. The moat? But there's a... Alright, carry on. There's like an idol over here that I wanna... Is this where, like, Black Hat Badger was before? Yeah, it was. He's still at the Senpo Temple. Yeah. You never went back there, yeah? No, because we are going there later. Okay. Oh, nice. We do want to drop into the water and get back to where we were. Oh, okay. You don't want to just keep going where you were. Oh shit, Mystery oh. Rat lost. At least that other guy has the decency to not get involved in this fight. It's like, oh fuck this. Nope. <laughs> I think that just restores their posture, yeah. Yeah, but, like, I'm not gonna kill him health-wise, so... No, no, I know, but that... Oh, he almost... <laughs> he was almost <laughs> dead. <laughs> he tried. Oh, that was kind of sad. It's funny. He's like, I'll avenge you. I know. I think I owned so fast. Is this where the Headless was? Yeah, it is where the Headless was. Oh. Go fight the headless. No. Oh, okay. And I guess I can. Nah, but... it's okay. I will say, because of the, like, I think the underwater ones, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think I will actually fight this headless. Oh, why? No, you don't have to. No, I was kidding. No, like, now I, ha now I feel obligated to. Oh, alright. The underwater ones are a little bit easier than the not underwater ones, I think. They are. Look at all this fucking shit we need. Our X accuracy, X speed, X attack. And then a blast of terror. Oh. Okay, That's I'm not dealing. Never mind. Yeah, it's it. it fun while it lasted. Bye. Oh, also, you are out of gourds. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that one doesn't count because I I egged you on into doing that, and I'm sorry. That's it's fine. And you, I didn't realize that we had not uh, rested anywhere for a while. I apologize. It, no, you're fine. That was my bad. <laughs> I have to reflect upon my mistakes. <laughs> I've inflicted great shame upon myself by being killed by a fish. Oh, that was kind of funny. All right. Oh, so we're we just going back up. Oh, yeah. we want to keep going up. Yeah, right? yeah. We're we just want to keep going up. I just wanted to kill the ogre for the prayer bead, and I yeah. completely forgot that. No, I forgot that you had gone down to um. Come on. I forgot that you had gone down to fight the ogre. He, he had to like kind of mentally prepare himself, like, okay, I'm gonna attack him. I know. I'm definitely gonna attack him. And then he got owned. It was funny. Yeah, I forgot that you were up here and went down. So again, I apologize for that death. It doesn't... For, like, clout purposes, it doesn't count. Go fight each other. No. Everybody just stop it. Oh, there you go. That's good. <laughs> I just keep swinging and see what happens. No skill. It's fine. That's kind of how I play the game at times. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh. So let me death blow him. Jesus. <laughs> It's like a Tarantino movie, like me being like fucking hit through the panels. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this gonna, this is one of those like gonna tell my kids this was Kill Bill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we already went through there. What sees you? You have like uh, somebody that's like noticing you. Don't. Buddha. 
<laughs> Buddha. <laughs> Buddha sees everything. <laughs> You're gonna reincarnate as a rabbit. <laughs> or, or something lower. Did she like sound an alarm or did she just kill an old lady? I just killed an old lady. Oh. I have no regrets. Yeah. I'm coming back as a rat. <laughs> oh, okay. Does does re puppeting them, does it restore their health? Uh, yeah, it does actually. Oh, really? Here, I gave you an assist. Good job. No die. You've outlived your usefulness. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. I was gonna say something's getting a death blow. That was cool, them just fighting each other. Out there. Out. Out. Why are you saying ow? You're fine. Look, he's almost uh, he's almost posture broken. Ow. Then he kicked me. Ow. <laughs> See? You're fine. It's just a flesh wound. Good stuff. Uh, it's halfway blocked, or probably. Oh no, they're no. still here. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> he's like a child. ゲイ<笑> Shura。え、それは生き続けたものは何のために聞き逸れすら忘れ、お主の目にも全然紐に見え。よくでは。Don't oh, piss off Ishin. He will kill you. The other mortal blade. Yeah. Great. There was no esoteric text about how there are two mortal <laughs> blades. <laughs> All right. Let us press forward. And first rest up over here. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably a good idea. Okay, so there is a boss fight in this room, uh, as you can see over here. Mm -hmm. um, we are doing a little bit of prep work for that, though. Right, because cause... there is an asshole right over here who joins in the fight and I am not interested in fighting a 2v1. <laughs> so I'm making it a 2v1 oh. in my favor instead. <laughs> nice. Vile hand, that's what it's called. So this one is one that will do the poison on you, I think, right? 
Yeah, I think there's yeah. the other one. There's another one that does poison like that as well. But... Well, there are some that oh, are. Oh, look at him go! Like common enemies. Look at him deflect like you. Oh, you've taught him so well. I'm just gonna let him fight the boss for you. Yeah, I'll just get in the stab every once in a while. How does he know where you are? The sugar sucks. Oh, that didn't poison you though. That's good. Oh, that was uh, some good combos. Yeah, nice. There is another way that you can approach this fight, and it actually makes it much harder because you'll be directly in front of the the non-boss enemy when you come in from like the left side that we can see right now. I remember you kept coming in this this way or that way one time. Yeah. And you died so often <laughs> because of it. I've learned from my mistakes. <laughs> Whether you puppet the other guy or not, or you just like get him out of the way, it, like it's much easier to handle him in that way first with the stealth kill. And then to just deal with this guy on his own. But he still has high health, so his posture does recover kind of fast. And he just keeps knocking your ass into the fucking wall. Come on. What the fuck is the poison? It just looks like he has his hand in his pants the whole time. <laughs> it's like, dude, fucking wash down there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what's inflicting the poison. <laughs> I think so. Maybe that's why he's a vile hand, you know? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's... <laughs> because he's always touching himself and because his hand is then poisonous. All the fucking smegma or something. God, that's gross. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. I can't make you read that. I forgot. I keep forgetting. That's okay. You're good. Is it just blocking all your hits? You've done surprisingly little... Um, health damage to him. He kind of is. Mm. Oh, damn it! Stop touching me. This dude kind of has a similar problem, I feel, to the other lone shadow that you fight in. This arena is, luckily, it's a little bit bigger, but with all their foot-based attacks, again, they have similar wind-ups, so it is kind of hard to tell um, what's coming next. It's like you, you can Mercury his foot, but you have to be pretty confident oh. that... Ah, oh, sorry. It's okay. You were really close, too. Well, I'll try again, I guess. Yeah. Alright. I don't think you need the... Do you need the sugar for this? I uh, might as well. You don't use it for, like... You use, hardly use it. Try again. <laughs> Make it a 2v1. Oh, he went right for you. Like, he knows. Ow. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a pellet and chill while. Yeah. Go in, get a little hit. Oh, that tag team. Yeah, there we did. I know. He's good. He's like trying to hit you, and the other guy's like knocking you out of it. You want to try and re, nah. re up him, or? Thanks for the health. <laughs> he just took, it, took the health from the death blow. Okay, there we go. Pretty much all he's good for. All right. You got this. 
that's such a long windup. Yeah, I think, I don't know, maybe don't worry too much about doing the Makiri on any of his feet. No, it's only on the Perilous attack, I think. Yeah, I think so. Okay, very impressive breakdance moves, my dude. <laughs> I thought he was winding up for a sweep. There you go. There we go. And nice. Ooh. Like right through the back of the head, like out through the face. Oh, and you, do you have four? Yes, so we are very nice. much going to go here. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Good job. Seven. Seven. I think there are only ten, right? Yes, there are only ten. Oh, yeah. this uh, gives us a little bit of lore on Jizo the Drunkard. An, an unrivaled sumo wrestler once served a great feudal lord dismissed after giving to drink he fell to a life of brigandry. And so he was dubbed Juzo the Drunkard. That's actually pretty funny. Alright, and we just keep going up here. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna protect them because I was gonna do that anyway. I ain't doing shit for you. And the big twist. よく覚えてみるぞ。死んだと聞いていたが、一体何が企んでいる。袋の。参りましょう。この袋は猿がよい。愛すみませぬが懐かしきこの眺めを申しましたんのをしたく あかりごとよ。お前こそ。あの世死んだと思うてよ。ミコ様のお力にて。それよ。わしはあのミコの力、流因を主中にしようです。分かっておる。第一の掟により、父の命じる。今より、あのミコ様を。So here is the first major diverging point in this game. Yeah. These are two very valid options. These are not meaningless choices that will take you to the same place. You can obey the Iron Code and forsake Kuro. Uh, and if we do that, we will actually be approaching the end of the game. Yeah. Uh, or we can choose to break the iron code, meaning we will disobey our father and stay loyal to Kuro. So what are you going to do? Uh, we're going to stay loyal. All right. この父の思いが分からぬのだ。忍びの掟を忘れたか。掟は己で定め。そう決めました。我が
るうちの。私は成長しておるようだな。やろうか。もう神よ。マイル。さかたぶりよな。All right, now we get to fight Owl, our father, get some revenge on that time that he tried to kill us. Spoiler. Did they not say that already? No. Well, if you if you couldn't figure out that that sword is the sword that stabbed uh, Sekiro after the Lady Butterfly fight. No, sorry everyone, if I really did spoil that. <laughs> nah, it's okay. No, but I think he said like, oh, I thought you died that night too. Because he's, he would fucking know. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> he's the only one that was there, after Lady Butterfly. Anyway, you kind of fight him similarly to, to other bosses. He does hit pretty hard. Um, one of the more annoying things that Owl will do in this fight is, um, if you've noticed that like, that like green and gray cloud that he throws every once in a while that will actually stop you from healing which you're actually under its effects right now i just realized yeah. so good thing you're at pretty much full health but there we go one down oh see look look at how strong you are <laughs> If you actually do manage to hit him, he's like, oh, I expected nothing less. Like, I'm proud of you. <laughs> if you just stay away from him... Oh, yeah, now he'll poison the area. If you just stay away from him, I feel like he says the equivalent of, like, ah, I didn't think you'd fall for it. Yeah. <laughs> like... Oh, the muscle memory is all coming back how to do this fight. <laughs> Is it similar to the Genichiro fight in some ways? Uh, no, not really, but oh. he has like, his attacks are like very like pattern wise. So, um, like he'll throw poison after that, then he'll do like, like once he throws sh two shurikens, he'll kind of like jump in the air and do like a, like an overhead slash. Mm. Uh, now I just want to run away so I can see things. Yeah. And like you can hit him, like you can sidestep oh, and hit him. You like. did get hit by that as well. Wait, and that sucks that you're poisoned and you cannot heal. I'm fine. His, uh, Owl's attacks are, I think, like slower too. But I think that he hits a little harder. But yeah, you, you see after like he hits like the two shurikens, he'll jump and do like an overhead slash. Yeah, so you'll kind of know like what he's going for. You can heal again, but it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> if you die another time, he'll say like, he'll, he'll give like the second uh, commandment. Yeah, I think he's just reciting the iron code at you. Yeah, and then if you actually manage to die a third time by use of a Jesus statue, he'll say the third code, which I don't know what it is because I never did that. <laughs> So, should we talk already about what would have come if you chose to obey the Iron Code? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Like, while I uh, do this fight. So, if you choose to uh, obey the Iron Code, meaning you follow your father's word and you, and you become disloyal to Kuro, you do not fight Owl. You're more so, like, working together with him. Instead, you will get two boss fights that you will not get throughout the rest of the game. The first one um, being Emma 
she will actually pick up a blade against you in protection of Kuro. And the second fight um, that you'll get, which will become the final boss of, of the game on this path, which will lead us to the bad ending. Um, that fight is Ishinashina. And even though he's sick and old, he will do what he can because of what he said earlier, the shadow of Shura in your eyes. And he said, like, if you give me a reason, I will strike you down. So that is his reason. He's trying to stop you from becoming Shura. And, uh, unfortunately, you, if you beat him, then, um, Sekiro pretty much does have this, like, insatiable bloodlust. He does become... I'm not really sure if you just say Shura or a Shura. Like if it's a thing or like a condition. But he just goes on to kill thousands of people, I think the game says. But because... No, go ahead. Sorry. I don't know. I was more um, like trying to pump myself up. I don't know if you ever really find out what happens to Kuro. I think the assumption is that he dies or something. Yeah. Or he's ca or he or he's captured for his um for his blood. I don't really know that Kuro can be killed. I think the whole thing is that he cannot. But yeah. Anyway, he'll end up being captured. But none of that matters because you just go insane pretty much, and you just kill everybody in Japan. But um. Now that we have chosen to stay loyal to Kuro, we are fighting Owl here, and um, we won't fight Emma and Ishinashina like we would. And uh, we actually have quite a bit more to do. I'd say maybe like a, a fifth or a quarter of the game that that is left. Like that's how much is cut short if you end up going with the bad ending. He's not giving me great patterns. Sorry. He keeps doing that. Well, you've almost actually... There oh. we go. Wow, you actually took his health before you broke his posture. Uh, it's like pretty close. Yeah. No, no, it was not that close. Uh, he healed his posture like three times over already. <laughs> it's like, oh, I got this poison in front of me. <laughs> That's what you get, Dad. All right. And then we find out that it was Owl that took the branch of the Ever Blossom. Yep. Because he's an asshole. <laughs> the Ever Blossom is a Sakura tree and, is, and as such is ripe with nostalgia. Takeru would likely gaze upon this branch when once it bloomed reminded of when once it bloomed reminded of home. Uh, one of the incense ingredients sought by the divine heir for immortal severance. Was it like a crime to take a branch from this tree? No, or but like, like as a... soon as he took the branch, the tree died. Oh, that's right. I remember it being like a bad thing that he did this. This fucking guy. Just trying to live forever. Alright, and we're a little stronger for it. Now we can go tell Kudo, hey, I'm not gonna betray you. I'm still trying to help. Yep. We're we're good, right? We're good. We're good, bro. Tell Emma not to fight me. Emma's fight is weird in that she's not really like very good at it so she fights weird yeah like uh like how professional fighters don't like to fight amateur fighters because they don't know what they'll do そう。はい、かぐわしく。そう。星、それは岩戸の奥の洞窟です。うん。まあ、考えてもいい。かぐわしく。うん。あの、そう。かぐわしくと、それを。
I think you have to go spray the perfume and then get married. No, well, not so get married. Get but... to the fountainhead. There we go. Oh, Emma's back. I think she's talking about saying. Oh. I think if you give her, is it if you give her the monkey booze, she'll tell you the story about that orangutan that offered her her fruit or something. Yeah. Is this one of those? Is this another pattern where you gotta like rest and eavesdrop and then rest and yeah. eavesdrop again? Where'd she go? It's so weird when she just like disappears and reappears. Yeah. Uh. I think she might be where Ishin is right now. Oh. Do you have to go listen in on them too? Yeah. They really like closed off like everything. I know. <laughs> it gave you like not a single passage to get back in through. Where's Ishin? Just down here? Or oh down there? Uh no, it's, I think he is here. Oh. Toki Onushito Kuro no Kshida Kshida Kshiriso Kamaiwa. Yeah, he's praising you for killing, but don't kill too much. Oh, and then oh, the chest I here. did not even notice this chest. The plate's name is Open Gate, and it's said to hold the power to open a gate to the underworld. Jeez. How come we don't get that one? We just get the gracious gift of tears. It's the evil mortal blade. <laughs> so we don't get that one. We only get the good mortal blade. I think I know where Emma is, but... Is she with the, um, the sculptor? Uh, I think she's here. Does she come here? I think so. I only remember her by like the sculptor and what's is she not at the grave did you get a good look yeah she would have been oh. like standing over here but oh, okay oh well what do you think should we look for her in the next part uh yeah that might be a good idea let's just go to the lab day temple while we're at it maybe she'll be there maybe she'll be there if anything i can upgrade like my shinobi prosthetic or see if i can all right Let's see if she's here first, and then if not, then we'll give it a nice soul cut. Everyone knows you killed your dad. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, stop, don't remind me. All right, this is probably the next item that we're going to try and get. Suzaku's Lotus Umbrella? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It prevents... Bur do these all stack? Like, does this one also prevent... Um... No, they do not. You oh. can actually equip, like, all three separately, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's cool. All right. All Another right. time, then. Yeah. <laughs> Another time. Sounds good.
Ready to call it? Yeah. <laughs> we gotta go figure out where Emma is. Yeah, we gotta go figure out where Emma is. <laughs> All right, we will do that, and then we'll, we'll we will be wherever she is next time. <laughs> so, until then. Thank you all so much for watching. You're amazing and awesome people. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you guys, and uh, see ya. <laughs>